Here we go. One, two, three. Hi, it's Gary Husband here. We're delighted to be back with a new video cast for you featuring two fantastic tunes by a couple of great friends of mine. Steve Hunt, the keyboardist, my old brother in Alan Holdsworth band. And Antoine Fafar, my friend, bassist, composer, who I've also recorded with a great deal. It's sort of like a world music kind of atmosphere about, in terms of its regularity and its pulse. But also we mentioned the Zawinul Syndicate, and that, that was another influence I found uh, pertinent to the way I was going to approach it. Got the hi-hat going on uh, all fours now, just to sort of bring the tension up from how it was before. As the piece carries on, it really <laughs> carries on. It really has this um, regularity of the four beat with a lot of these different compound rhythms on top. With little ideas, as reactions to what, what Steve's doing on the synth, his little phrases. But finding the balance between that and giving him room. See that? Those accents just seem to fall in holes that he left. Uh, as a listener, you can go through and listen to the tune, and you can, whatever mood you're in, you can feel the, the pulses of past six, eight, or just the quarter note driving pulse, or the slow harmonic pulse that just kind of flows. And uh, I, I kind of like that uh, concept in music. Wonderful brother, friend, Jimmy Johnson on bass, one of the greatest musicians in the world. And the, the flow is, is really is something we can introduce. We don't have to be literal about playing ideas that come out on one each time. And a bassist who every drummer loves to work with. So it's quite a meaningful track to do, of course. It's dedicated to Alan, too. Little idea there, like a train going off into the distance. And into the chorusy feeling. And motifs coming up. This time I'm bringing tones. Me bouncing off ideas, what I'm hearing in the cans. That's the way it's all feeling, you know, keeping what I'm doing really in with the feeling of what I'm doing. And now let's have a look at the second track, Antoine Fafar's Renaissance Man. Two, and a fill, and in. I very much like the piece, which always helps getting things in the memory bank. Antoine is, is very specific about those beats. He was entrusting me to be uh, sort of interactive. Put me in the mind of uh, where my head was at when, when we were recording things like a Tabacron for Alan Holdsworth. Try and create beats that were influenced by drum programming that were quite unlike what acoustic drummers would do. Third time through this big machine beat. The way I record music is probably not the most conventional way to do it in the sense that I like to record the drums at the very end, even after the solos have been captured. In my view, this is a great way to do it as the drummer can react to the solos and I think it makes things more interesting musically. I had fun keeping these really big, kind of arena style, Van Halen style. How it's feeling with the bass, what it's doing for the composition, how interactive I'm being with the soloist, and what I'm doing for the piece in general. And of course, your steadiness as a drummer and making it feel really good. 
So uh, that's uh, it's quite a handful. Please download the drumless mix of them. Have a great time with them and play with uh, conviction and meaning and heart and uh, imagination. Please enjoy.